coming to you real quick to do the flip through. Yep. I was going to do another craft with me, but I got on a roll and just kept going. Y'all know how that goes. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I have to do a flip through. This thing is really, even though the gator doesn't look bad, it it's at the point where that's good. So, let's see here. This book is about 11 by eight with a two inch spine and about a three and a half gator. Um, I love, I used the original cover and I just covered the spine. This is the original cover and I used the original, um, I don't know what you call them, the the end pages, I think they're called. So anyway, I put some uh, um, original real ephemera from an estate sale and just kind of jazzed it up. This is a report card. This is where the parents would comment and just kind of decorated the little um, envelope that that came in and I printed off a bunch of these off of Pinterest. They are uh, old coloring books and we made this into, they're coffee stained and so you have papers to write on. Yay! And this was another report card envelope so I just decorated it and I put some giant tabs on that. This is just decor um, to cover a white page. So this was from a coloring book and I put yarn right here, some little bows. Uh, this is a little tag that I made and a dictionary page and a dictionary uh, word here with a definition. And I used a lot of this little school stuff. It ended up kind of being from children's books, but also it has like a school theme. Um, this has name and date on this little corner pocket. And this is a real kindergarten report card. So the person who gets this, they can do whatever they want with that. And here's a little um, envelope and I made a bunch of these and they just have little cards in them. So those are cute. And a Dick and Jane book or page. And you'll see um, I used a lot of washi tape in this. And this is a paint chip with, I think that's Sally, and A is for awesome, and just backed it. And also, uh, let me see, of course I don't have anything to show y'all here, but these are pockets as well. So, you can use that as a pocket. I guess I should get... Uh, I guess I should get something because there's a lot of hidden pockets in this. So this is a report card. Looks like some pretty good grades. Crystal. And this is from a golden book. Oh, looks like Thumbelina. And this is from a large golden book, I think. 1960. And I got this idea from... Pam Vanny uh, to fold the pages over to make these pockets. So there's two pockets here and I absolutely love the idea. And I just took these flashcards and made little um, tags or whatever you want to do with them and a little uh, dictionary thing and just your ABC's with a test 
grid. Made a little pocket out of that. Two tags from those um, coloring books. And uh, this is a Tim Holtz flashcard. And I just made an envelope and uh, put some paper in that for you to journal on. And uh, this came from some scrapbook paper and I just coffee stained it. This is a Dick and Jane page. This is another paint chip and I just put a little rivet on here with a dangle and just a, a little card. And here's a little soda pop card in a pocket. There's a lot of book pages. You could read this story. Um, this is from a, an older, I think it was a golden book. And another pocket with some coffee stained paper. And another paint chip. And that looks like Sally and you can write on this and there is actually a lot of writing space in this. Here's Dick and Jane and that's Jane a to and from. That is a giant tag and this is the middle of the first signature and I just put some trim on some of the pages and this is uh, one of those flashcard tags that I made. And this is a pocket as well. And another envelope with some paper that you can journal on. And a gold, well, it's a silver star that you would get on your papers back in the day. This right here is just a piece of paper that you can write on. And I made these little, uh, they're not quite, they're half hidden paper clips. I think they're cute. Another little tiny envelope with a card in it. And here's room to write. And another piece of paper. And this is a storybook about a bear. And this is another flash card and it just has a little tiny card in it and another pocket underneath. There's so many pages. And I got this idea from Pam Vinny as well. Um, and I'm going to leave Pam the her channel, a link to her channel, in the uh, description below. Y'all check out her glue books. They are amazing. And I actually got this idea from her about doing the different size of pages, doing the, the fold overs and making a pocket out of it. Um, I have never done that before in my journals. So this is new to me and I absolutely love it. So thank you, Pam. Thank you. It just gives it like interest. You've got, you know, diff a large size. You know, your pages are kind of off kilter. I love it. I love it. So here's another paper clip. And that is another coffee stained uh, copy of a coloring book. And I just really love how it turned out and let's see here dictionary this was actually some real ephemera uh, crystal this was her elementary school participation award yay yay crystal so and you can write on the back of that if you want or make something out of it another little envelope and some washi this is another golden book story, Dick and Jane. Here's two little cards that you can 
journal on and here is another little pocket there's lots of hidden pockets in this I couldn't fill them all uh, this is like a little test grid you can use it as a bookmark or make something out of it a very old uh, probably a golden book this is what I was talking about as far as like you have a very large page just fold it and then you can turn it into a pocket and there's just another flash card Dick and Jane the little bear story here's two little cards to journal on or to use for whatever and two little tags that off of there and giant pages another little card and a dictionary word here's another tag and another pocket so I had fun oh here's the little middle tabs I had so much fun doing this and I could have added a ton more y'all but it was seriously getting uh, just a little chunky you know to be able to use comfortably and here is another copy of a coloring book and another hidden or half hidden <laughs> uh, paper clip a dictionary word, bear story, another little envelope, and then this, there's like room to write right there. And another little flashcard tag and another pocket. And an old golden book. And here's just some room to write. Lots of room to write there. Thumbelina, Dick and Jane another coloring page and I added a lot of these because this book has a lot of pages with writing on it and a lot of times I don't like to cover the original book pages so I wanted to give more writing space for this journal because you know it would be kind of hard to write on this so that's why you see a lot of those. And another giant tab. Here's another coffee stained page. And here is another uh, original school thing. This is from the second grade. And these are the return of uh, textbooks. So looks like they returned all their textbooks here's a little envelope Dick and Jane and Thumbelina and here's two cards and then this is another pocket and this is a report card looks pretty good and another coloring page and another half hidden paper clip. I love those paper clips. And another old page. Uh, Dick and Jane. Two more cards to write on in a Tim Holtz pocket. And another uh, little tag. And this tag has an envelope opening so you could put something in there and another silver star and another little card to write on this was scrapbook paper that I coffee stained which is cute and another a half hidden paper clip uh, 
another page to write on. So you will have plenty of space to still write. And more test grids. And just another little card. And another. You get a ton of these. And another uh, flash card, a little pocket, some writing space, Dick and Jane, another little envelope, an old book. Uh, this was a pocket um, for another report card. And I just decorated it and put another page in here for you to write on. And more space to write. Two more little tags to write on. And Thumbelina, Dick and Jane, another little tag flash card. Here's another little tag from a coloring book. Another page to write on. Another page to write on. I love these things. And the last, the, the end of the, you know, the book cover on the inside. I put some little paper dolls. Um, you can either add them in the book or just keep them in this pocket. And then you can use the pocket. This I think also was from uh, Bowie Junior High School here in Irving, Texas. So they mailed the report card, not giving it to the kid. You know what I mean? And that is it, y'all. Oh, I am so excited. I love this so much. I will be listed it on uh, eBay. So I hope y'all like it. Um, I do. I want to show y'all what I'm doing next. I have some Bible journals and they look a little bit different um, and they are but I will be uh, working on the these cute pages this so those are two. There's this one, which is too cute. And there is a little Noah's Ark one. So I'm going to be working on these for the month of December, but um, I'm not doing videos on these. For the month of December, y'all know that uh, I just put Christmas down. And um, so we are going to be uh, going to uh, places in the DFW area. Um, you know, uh, like Grapevine, um, uh, maybe the Arboretum, um, places where, you know, they have Christmas lights. And we'll do a video of that and show y'all some of that for the month of December. Uh, I will probably be making my gingerbread men and we'll be showing that. Uh, possibly, who knows? You'll just have to stay tuned to see what we're doing Christmassy. For the month of December 
but I just wanted y'all to know that, you know, um, I'm still working on journals. Uh, I'm going to be working on uh, Christian journals uh, on the side. It, it, I may do a video or two of these, but they, these are probably just going to be flip throughs um, when they're finished. So anyway, I hope everybody is having an awesome fall. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. We love y'all, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Subscribe for more content.